welcome to all welcome to this session on the national income accounting let us discuss today the expenditure method when we say expenditure method you can understand because there is a demand when there is a demand for a particular good or services then only the expenditure we incur in case for example why demand arises there is a desire for buying a good for example buying a car and then there is a ability we have the money to pay for the car for example 5 lakhs we have the 5 lakhs rupees to pay for the car for the to be purchase the particular car and also not only ability we have to uh, fork for the 5 lakhs money in order to purchase the car that is the willingness to pay therefore we have studied under microeconomics when there is a desire and the ability to pay we have the money in our bank or in our accounts and also willingness to pay that is we, we are ready to sacrifice in order to purchase a particular quantity, quantity particular commodity at the prevailing price then it is called willingness to pay you always there is there but then we can say it's a demand when there's a demand what will happen the consumption occurs we purchase for our own we own this particular own that particular commodity then we own we can't own we have to pay that where only this concept of expenditure comes. I hope you understood how. When there is a consumption, there will be an expenditure. That is called, this is an expenditure method we are going to deal. How we expenditure, we connect with the demand and consumption, you will understand. And then, for example, in this method, we are going to calculate GDP. What we are, what we are studying now? Calculating national income. National income, in other words, we call here, the concept is GDP. GDP is nothing but national income. Therefore, National income, we are looking here, demand side, I have explained you already. When there is a demand only, there will be expenditure. Because this is an expenditure method, it is because of, we are looking for, looking at the demand side of the product. And then, factor income, we have already discussed in our previous class, in our previous videos, you know, you know, there we, we studied household, household, here firm in our circular flow income we have studied that household supply factors of production factors of production what are the factors of production land labor land labor capital entrepreneurship and what is firm does firm pay the factor payment firm pay factor payment factor payment what are the factor payment what are the factor payment? We know wages for land, sorry, wages for labor and the rent for land and interest for capital and the profit for entrepreneurship. All these things are paid by firm. This factor income is nothing but is the this is called factor income. This all these three four is called factor income as far as household is concerned because they because they supply it is uh, what they are supplying is they supply factors of production to firm therefore firm is paying factor payment back to household this factor payment on the four forms wage rent interest and profit this four is called as factor income that's what I'm going to explain now. I hope you understood what is factor income. It is a factor payment from firm to household for the usage of factors of production which were provided by household. And now factor income earned by factors of production is spent in the form of expenditure. Wages, profit, rent and interest all are spent for the purchasing of goods and services. That also we have studied goods and services. What they do? Household from firm, they purchase goods and services. Goods and services. And for that, what they have to do? They have to spend. Spending. This is the circular flow model. This is a very important section. Circular flow model. You have to be very, very careful. You have to remember that. Household and firm. And firm provides goods and services produced in the firm. For that, what per, per household has to do? They have to spend. Where they get the income? From the factor income, what they get from the firm, it is called factor income. 
from the factor income, they pay back in the common spending. For the spending, another name is what? Expenditure. Expenditure. Spending is nothing but expenditure. I hope you now understood. Therefore, the expenditure for the purchase of goods and services produced by firm. The next we see, the, here we have to notice expenditure method, very important. One man's income is another man's expenditure. For instance, I am going to buy a sari worth of rupees 5,000 from a textile industry or you know textile owner textile owner owner oh the, this is sari for me this 5000 is what for me this is expenditure but for the textile owner is this one what what is this this rupees 5000 income therefore my expenditure rupees 5000 is the income of the textile owner that is exactly 5000 because I am paying them 5000. Therefore, one man's income is another man's expenditure. This is the concept we are going to discuss for all the firms. We are going to, we are going to calculate the expenditure of all the firms, government and the foreign countries. And we are going to say their expenditures are income of the firms which we are going to select. You can see. Therefore, method, this method of measure in national income is nothing but some total of final expenditures. We are going to study all the four sectors of the economy, household, business firm, and the government, and the foreign countries, foreigners. All these four sectors we are going to discuss today. How these four, all the foreign, all the four sectors will spend on the goods and services produced by firm I. We are going to take example firm I, one firm I, maybe any firm. This firm we are going to consider is a big industry like a Tata or Reliance or big industry. That firm, it produces variety of goods, consumption goods, grocery items, mobiles or cars or so many items, capital goods as well as consumption goods they are producing. But we are going to study the production of this firm I is going to be consumed by household, by firms, by government and also by foreign countries we are going to export also all that whatever this household spend on this goods of the firm i and firm spends on the goods of the firm i government spends on the firms of good i good, um, um, government spends on the firm produced by um, goods produced by firm i and the foreign countries we are exporting there some items all the expenditures will be earned by this firm i as income it will become as income for the firm i all the expenditures all the expenditures of all these four sectors will be taken back into this firm as income of the firm that's what that is we call it as revenue i will explain later and now the components of as i i have already explained the same thing i am explaining in the form of chart chart in this chart you can observe you see components of final consumption expenditure what are the components? Final consumption expenditure. The second one, final investment expenditure. Before that, I will say final consumption expenditure. For example, a firm produce, we say our firm I, firm I, produce consumption item also. It produce consumption item also, consumption items, as well as it produce capital goods or investment goods, capital goods, both the goods they produce per mile. Per mile produce consumption items as well as capital goods. This consumption expenditure in the sense, main consumers are household. They will consume the household item from per mile. They are taking per mile. Therefore, whatever the household, for example, is a fruit, this firm is producing fruit juices and all. Then household will consume the fruit juice, fruit juice, Produced by firm I. Therefore, household also will come here and also some other firms also. Some other firm also will consume this produce for their employees to give, or their guests. For big industries will consume this produces from this firm I. Why? In their industry, guests will come and the 
uh, other conferences will take place for the employees. They will work. Their work firm, household, and other firms will be spent on the consumer goods of the firm. I. Their work consumption expenditure will come from the household as well as from other firms which are purchasing the product of the firm. I. Here, the product I am taken as I have taken as fruit juice, and the next one. In final investment expenditure, but we are considering investment expen expenditure in the sense firm I produce capital goods also. Therefore, the firms, other firms, what they do, they buy the um, capital goods from the firm I, other firms, other industries. For example, automobile industry will produce. For example, we will say firm I produce a steel seat, steel and iron, steel and iron. Then what are the industries it will take all the Automobile industry, automobile industry will purchase from this firm I. This is steel and iron, and the other construction, construction purpose, construction section, section they will buy for this for their uh, construction purpose steel and iron. Therefore, these are all other firms, automobile con uh, industries, construction industries, all the sectors sectors are other firms. We are comparing as other firms, but they will buy. They will buy. Firm I, that is a firm I we are telling, just a name for the I, we don't tell individual name of the firms. We say firm I, the unknown firm, but that firm we assume, it produces groceries, fruit juices, vegetables, everything they are selling, they are producing. And also, the same industry produces capital goods, vehicles, steel iron and so many, which are big, 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 they have variety of products. Therefore, from that firm I, investment section expenditure, when it will occur, when the capital is spent on in capital goods, investment made on in, in capital goods, that is called investment expenditure. I hope you understood. And the next one, final government expenditure. When the final government expenditure, what do you mean by government? Here also, government go two types, it may be consumption expenditure and the investment expenditure. Both consumption and investment expenditure. Both will take place. Why government uh, consume? You know, consumption cow count, government consume the again the firm by production only we are considering. Consumption why? Because we can see in India all the defense ministry, all the defense army, navy, all are supplied by government. Therefore, government has to do uh, vegetables, meat, milk, everything for the army person and so on, navy person and so on. All these departments are supplied at the cost of the government. Therefore, government is also spending. On the consumption expenditure as well as investment in the sense we can say road development road development is a public welfare road development public welfare and also schools government schools government schools government hospitals government hospitals all are investment by the government because why because why we are selling investment uh, in that case this is consumable item, food item, we are saying consumption expenditure. Here we are telling road development, government schools, government hospital, built by government. It's a durable investment. It is a very, very long it's an invest, expenditure on investment, um, investment items. That is buildings, roads, government school is nothing but buildings. Is, hospital is building, roads are for long, durable period. We will be using again and again. Therefore, they are all durable capital items. Therefore, it is called investment, final capital, investment expenditure. The next one is expenditures by foreigners on exports. For example, firm IE, we said our example firm IE, it produces tea also. It produces tea. What they do, this tea is exported to USA and other countries, UK, Australia, like that, all the other countries. What this they will do, for them is expenditure, no? Because they are buying our teas, therefore for them expenditure. For them expenditure. For them it is an expenditure. The foreigners expenditure will come back to firm I as revenue. As revenue. Therefore, this is called expenditures by foreigners. The next one. We are going to take the same example we have studied in the product method. What is, what is the product method? Farmer baker example. Farmer, baker, example. In this, only two kinds of producers in this economy. Who are the producers? Farmer, one unit, production unit. 
and the bakers and another production unit. What is called, we, we call production unit as a firm. Any production unit is a single individual firm. Farmer also producing and act as a firm and baker also producing and act as a firm. There were two kinds of producers in the economy. This is a simple two producers are there. Therefore, it's a simple economy. And here, wheat producers or the farmers, we are going to consider bread makers or we will say bakers also. But what is happening here? The wheat farmer is producing 100 rupees worth of wheat. And what is what does? He sells rupees, 50 rupees worth of wheat to the baker. Then what the baker does? Baker, you know, we studied in a product method, value adding value, it converts that 50, he uses completely this 50 rupees worth of wheat and convert it into bread. That is worth of 200. After that, what he does, he sells it to the consumers. The worth of the consumption sale is 200. Therefore, whatever spent by the, therefore, expenditure of the consumers, here how much consumers expenditure? Expenditure, rupees 200. Worth of the bread, they are paying. Therefore, consumers expenditure will be received by the baker. At the same time, this 50 rupees expenditure, here baker how much expenditure? Rupees 50 expenditure to the baker. Expenditure to the baker, expenditure of baker. But this rupees 50 expenditure will be received here as revenue. Received as revenue. As revenue by farmer. Therefore, one person expenditure is received as revenue by another person. That's what in the at the beginning itself I have mentioned. One person expenditure is another person's income. Here, rupees 50 expenditure of the baker because he is buying 50 rupees worth of wheat from the farmer. Therefore, for him, baker is 50 rupees expenditure. That expenditure will come, be received by the farmer as what? Rupees 50 income. As 50 rupees income for him by selling the wheat. At the same time, the baker will sell the bread for the consumers. Consumers. And this consumers expenditure is rupees 200 because they are buying from the baker. Therefore, as far as consumers are concerned, this rupees 200 is an expenditure. But it will be received, it will be received as a revenue or income by baker. You understood the concept? One person expenditure is another, another person income. Here what we are measuring expenditure method. Therefore, we are going to add the expenditure. What is the expenditure received by? Expenditure of the baker received by the farmer is how much? Rupees 50. Rupees 50. Plus, expenditure of the consumers received by the baker is how much? Rupees 200. Therefore, total income GDP is how much? For this simple economy? 250. Rupees 250. I hope you understood. One man's in ex in expenditure is another man's income. This is the expenditure method. Therefore, we have to write the way, we have to write in such a way. I have explained, I hope you understood. The aggregate value of output of the economy. That is called GP, GDP. Aggregate value of output of the economy, really we uh, used to consider for a year, is how much here in this simple economy. Rupees 50. This is the final expenditure received, is very important, received by whom? Farmer. Received by the farmer. Why? This is the expenditure by the baker. Baker expenditure is received by the farmer. Therefore, rupees 50 plus, then what? 200, rupees 200. This is final expenditure received by the baker. Whose expenditure it is? Consumer's expenditure. Because he is telling outside for the Baker from the bakery for all the consumers. Their expenditure is received by the baker. Therefore, that is 200, this is 50. Therefore, the total is how much? The equation equal sign is there, two, rupees 250. Therefore, GDP for this economy is rupees 250. I hope you understood. This is the GDP for this simple economy. 
simple economy economy consisting of what farmer and baker and the next one for now what we are going to take we are really going to the detailed concept of experimental method now as we considered farmer and baker as different producers now we are going to consider the firm i as the producer this firm i will make expenditures on the following accounts we have seen the farmer makes a expenditure on the baker worth of rupees 50 and the baker makes the expenditure on consumers that is worth of 200 now we are, we are going to really having that simple example in our mind we are going to elaborate a firm i how this final expenditure is going to make by uh, is going to be made by this firm i here we are going to consider all the four sectors here household sector firms government foreigners external sector all the four sectors of the economy to be considered here and here we are going to say first one the final consumption expenditure ci this is a consumption expenditure we are going to do. consumption mean you should always remember mainly household household only always involved in the consumption and other firms to read their read their read their guest or employees therefore this is for my income uh, for my going to have a following expenditure account that is called final consumption expenditure on the goods and services produced by the firm i by the firm i firm i producing goods and services other consumers are going to buy it who are the consumers main consumers household and other firms otherwise you will be because this method is being always asked by the board exam explain the expenditure method a long answer question six marks you have to understand how to explain the Fermi process, Fermi activities. Fermi, first consumption expenditure. Then you, I have already told, per, mostly it is the household, you know, household, which undertake the consumption expenditure. I have explained. Also, other firms, you know, other firms will be there. One is cement industry firm will be there. That cement industry chairman, director, managers, all the bodies of the Govern, governing body, all the employees will be there. They, they need consumption items, tea, snacks, juices, water bottles, all are consumption items. That will be considered by the firms, by, by firms by consumable to read their guests or their employees. Therefore, these two components contribute this expenditure. Therefore, this is called consumption expenditure on consumption goods. Consumption goods mean eatables, drinking item, water bottle and all. That is called consumption. That consumption occur here we indicate by CI. Why? Consumption expenditure for the firm I. How to read it? Consumption expenditure of the final consumption expenditure of the firm I. Only one firm we are considering. Because we are going to do the entire firm of the economy we are going to study. Now you we are going step by step consumer expenditure of the firm I. The next one. For example, consumption expenditure I give an example. For example, you can consume any items here. Fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, leafy vegetables, everything. Or you can also consume the clothes. This is also consumption item. It's sale or this or any dress or uh, any jacket or anything you can consume. This is example for consumption item. This is consumption expenditure of fur. I. We consider for I produce all variety of items. We assume like that. And the next one. Firm I can make the, therefore household we have finished. Now we are going to see the second one, investment expenditure. You all know what we are going to, what we are studying here. We are studying about other firms, firm sector, firm sector or private firms or private sector or firm sector we are studying. This firm sector uh, consume the capital goods. Firm I produce, produce, produce capital goods. That is the assumption. For my produce capital goods as well as they produce consumption goods. Consum consumption goods or consumer goods. Consumption goods. That you have to remember. You shouldn't confuse when you write the answer for this exam. You should always remember. For my produce capital goods as well as consumption goods. As well as consumer expenditure is concerned, they will consume the consumption goods. As well as investment expenditure is concerned, who are the consumers here? Other firms. Other firms other than firm I. 
other firms they will invest they will invest on capital goods capital goods of firm i capital goods of firm i that is called investment expenditure it is denoted by ii investment expenditure is denoted by ii that mean what mean the investment made on the capital goods produced by firm i therefore we have studied the second sector the firm sector or private enterprises household sector consumption expenditure firm sector ii investment expenditure it is denoted by ii ii mean investment expenditure made by other firms in the economy other firms mean you know example the for example cement industry they have to buy uh, cement producing um, iron steel all these things they need all the uh, implements they need for the all the doing work of the cement work all that they will buy from the iron iron steel all that they need for all these things therefore what they will do they will spend on the we are considering firm i produce all the capital goods maybe iron maybe steel or aluminium everything is available with this therefore they have to take all the containers for the cement industry all the implements from the to work with the cement industry they have to purchase all the capital goods we have studied what are the capital goods tools all the tools needed for the working tools equipments all that is produced by firm i firm i it will be purchased by other firms other firms all the firms need tools and equipments implement therefore that is called investment expenditure i hope you understood and final investment expenditure i i incurred by how it incurred other firms that is very important other firms own the capital goods that is very important produced by whom firm i that is important and the next one only expenditure of investment goods in included not at all intermediate goods you know we never include the value of intermediate goods for the calculation of gdp or other words national income always we include the value of final goods therefore expenditure on intermediate goods not included here only expenditure on investment goods or capital goods is included and now just an example for investment expenditure we said machineries here are machineries big trucks for transport for the cement industry for, for work with the cement industries mixing and all these things these are the uh, uh, investment or capital expenditure on capital goods this is called as investment expenditure this capital goods uh, we assume produced by firm i firm i but other firms other firms purchase other firms other firms spent on these goods spent spent on these goods spent on these goods that is what it is called investment expenditure i hope you understood firm i can make the final expenditure on the following account now we have studied two sectors this is the third sector what is the third sector in our economy we have studied in our first chapter government sector here we are going to invest on government uh, we are going to study government sector the in expenditure made by the government on the goods produced by firm i we assume that firm i produce both the consumption goods consumption goods as well as capital goods both therefore as far as government is concerned they can make both expenditure that is the government can make consumption expenditure also because government has so many department people you know, all the ministries they have employers all they give snacks and meetings and conferences they want to consume items to for that purpose and the, and the capital goods also governments example for they supply all the furniture all the machinery is needed for whether it's the computers or printing machines or the auto what is called the, the, that xerox uh, machine everything in the government industries is supplied by by the government they are all capital goods no the computers all the and also vehicles all the government department has vehicle all the defense department they all have a very very big trucks and vehicles army navy everywhere who is supplying at the cost of government that is called capital goods spent expenditure by the, the, the capital goods by the government 
that both the consumption and capital investment of the by the government is called as gi that means we assume both the goods are produced by firm i and government spent on these goods therefore government expenditures on the goods produced by firm i is called as gi here therefore the final goods and services produced by firm i final expenditures incurred by the government includes both the consumption as well as investment expenditure that is denoted by gi by government expenditure on the goods produced by firm i i hope you understood and now here i am displaying here this is construction of roads by government you know construction cannot be done by private people because they are all profit oriented only government can do this type of work expansion of roads and these things by because they are government always consider the public welfare therefore construction roads by government this is a investment expenditure for the government and also construction by skills by uh, construction of the schools that's also public expenditure public expenditure that is denoted by gi because all of these are for the public welfare by the government investment expenditures and now we are going to see that last one foreign sector the last sector foreign sector we have seen household sector firm sector government sector and now the fourth one this foreign sector what we do for example firm i produces consumer items tea or the spices they have all the products with them and also they have capital items computers equipments iron and steel all that we are exporting firm i is exporting firm i is exporting firm i exports that's what is containers firm i exports therefore what is happening foreigners are buying this firm i products therefore foreigners expenditure because this is an expenditure method foreigners expenditure come back to the firm i as a revenue therefore the expenditure is concerned is done by foreigners by foreign countries by buying our products buying this firm i products and they are paying as a revenue to the government therefore their expenditure foreign sector expenditure is received by the firm i as the revenue i hope you understood very clearly and now we are going to say the export revenue that firm i earned here xi we said the consumption expenditure ci investment expenditure ii government expenditure gi the you know export expenditure xi each this is we are denoting in this way and this the sum total of the revenues now we have to consider one thing you know we have already said the consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure plus excel these are the expenditures incurred by the for the firm incurred by other sectors on the goods of firm i on the goods of firm i firm i therefore all these will all these will give mass revenue to the revenue to the firm i revenue to the firm i but expenditures for the consumers expenditures for the firms expenditures for the government expenditures for the foreigners but when it comes to firm i it will be received as revenue received as revenue i hope you understood so that's what we are going to explain now thus the sum total of the revenues when we say revenue you have to say who is getting the revenue firm i is receiving for its products therefore here earns given by rvi 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 means what revenue revenue is denoted by rv revenue is denoted by rv rv of what firm i of a firm i receiving the revenue of all the sectors as that is what all the sectors we say sum total adding up all the one all the sectors are we adding sum total of final consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure government and exports expenditure received that is very important you have to notice without confusing it is received by firm i that is very important received by firm i receives other sectors 
spend all the, for them expenditure for the for my is an income income is received expenditure is spent therefore the household firm sector government and export countries the foreign countries are for expenditures are received by the firm as a revenue that is our revenue is denoted by rv of i mean revenue of firm i i hope you understood and rvi what is rvi now we are telling what is rvi revenue of firm i revenue received by firm i firm i that is what final consumption expenditure from household investment expenditure from the firm sector from firm sectors other firms other firms and the export expenditure government expenditure by the government and the export expenditure by the foreign sector therefore what is revenue the rvi rvi is equal, rvi is equal to ci plus ii plus gi plus xi consumption expenditure investment expenditure government expenditure export revenues by foreign country foreigners expenditure therefore this is called the revenue earned by the firm i i hope you understood therefore rvi is equal to ci ii gi xi the next one now we are going to consider we only have seen now only firm i but in the economy is concerned not firm only one firm there are so many firms we are telling in the economy there are n firms n firms in the economy as a whole economy as a whole as a whole how many firms exist n firms therefore what we have to consider is summing over n firms we get what summation of i is equal to 1 to n r v some sort of final we have to we have to add all the firms uh all the all the you know for all the firms how do you what is the meaning of r b i is equal to 1 to n what is the meaning of r b i is equal to 1 to n i that mean i may be n may be 500 firms then what do you how do you will write first firm second third fourth firm fourth firm like that up to 500 firms there therefore n may be 500 firm or n may be 5000 firm or n, n may be 50 firm also if it is 50 firm we will say first second third up to 50 firms therefore i vary from 1 to 500 or it may can make it can vary but the number of firms there in the economy is concerned it may vary any number that's what we are saying i is equal summation of summation mean adding i think for example i will say 50 for me by how do i write i to 1 me 1 to 50 i will write and that all the expenditure ci then for example for this rv is equal to how to count out i will send you uh, that is what i am mentioning here i will explain again i to i is equal to 1 to n with n number of firms therefore i can take any value between 1 to n value second form i can take i2 i can take two value i can take three value and i can take up to n value for example i am writing i is equal to 1 to 50 then i can take one value i can take two value i can take 15 value i can take 40 value i can take 45 or i may i may be 50th form therefore this is the meaning of i to 1 to 50 summation of you are going to add it therefore sum total of final consumption investment government and export expenditures received by all the firms you have to say before we said our firm i now we are not going to say firm i why we are not going to say firm i all the firms why we are going to say all the firms because it is not firm i here because we are telling n firms therefore n may 50 firms 50 or 500 firms or 1000 for any firm any number of but all the firms you have to mention i hope you understood and the next therefore summation of revenue earned by all the firms summation in, uh, indicate revenue earned by all the n firms that is what summation therefore we are writing 
summation i is equal to 1 to n firms revenue earned. That means, how do you read this uh, notation? That uh, revenue earned by all the firms is summed up. This is summed up. Summation means summing up. That's what we are writing. Sum total. Summation. Sum total of all. What is that? Sum total of that means sum i to n. I, to, I is equal to 1 to n. Consumption. All the firms consumption expenditure. I 1 to n. All the firms investment expenditure. I 1 to n. All the firms government expenditure. I 1 to n. All the firms of expenditure. That x a. Therefore, now we have taken into consideration in the economy all the firms, how much they are spending, their spending is equal to revenue of the firm, all the firms existing. Therefore, all the firms consumption expenditure is denoted by CI. All the firms I to N, for example, 500 firms, all the N is 500, we will say. Then, if all the 500 firms, investment expenditure is denoted by like this. I hope you understood. Now, let, now we are going to see capital C. Now, before we said CI, now we are going to see capital CI, capital C. This is CI mean what? Invest, expenditure of the firm I, consumption expenditure of the firm I. II mean what? Investment expenditure of the firm I. GI mean investment expenditure of the government. Now, capital C, what this is? This is the aggregate final consumption expenditure. That means... It includes all the consumption expenditure, all the investment expenditure, all the government expenditure, all the expenditures by the foreign countries are included. It is denoted by C. C is called aggregate. Aggregate means you are aggregating all the sectors expenditure. Aggregate final, you have to mention this word also very much important. Each term is very important. Consumption expenditure of the entire economy. That's what very important. Capital C is entire economy, not to firm I or anything. It is for entire economy. But we have assumed that entire economy here in our case have n number of firms. Therefore, n, all the n number of firms, aggregate final consumption expenditure is denoted by capital C. And the part of C, the part of total aggregate final expenditure is spent on consumption goods. That is, that will be that will be, you know, the aggregate final consumption expenditure, capital C. Then the part of capital C is spent on imported goods. It will be denoted, denoted, denoted by CA. And part of, you know, the C minus CA, for example, if we say total capital expenditure, aggregate final capital is C, what is this C? It is summation of I is equal to 1 to N CI plus CM. Why? The two way consumption expenditure can take place. One is the entire firms, firm is spent on consumption expenditure plus that is domestic firms. How many domestic firms? N firms are there. All the domestic firms consumption expenditure plus are the expenditure incurred for import the foreign goods. Therefore, this will give us a domestic. Domestic means within the country. Domestic. This is foreign. This is foreign. Therefore, this is consumption expenditure incurred in the domestic consumption of the firms. And this is for, this is for the imported goods. Expenditure on imported goods. Therefore, we can... Categorize C is equal to, that is what I have written here. C is equal to, I is equal to 1 to N. All the N firms in the entire economy is consumption expenditure plus expenditure on import goods. Therefore, CM is what? Denotes expenditure on the imports of consumption goods. CM is, and capital C is what? Aggregate final consumption expenditure. And therefore, what is C minus CM? When you take this one, this side. When you take this one, this side, what will happen? The, you know, left side of the equation. It will come as C minus Cm is equal to summation of I is equal to 1 to N Cm. See, this will come. Therefore, what is C minus Cm? 
from the total aggregate final consumption expenditure, if you deduct the import expenditure, it will give us the part of the total expenditure spent on domestic firms. That will give us a domestic firm. Why? Domestic firms, how many firms? I is equal to 1 to N. I is equal to 1 to N. These are the domestic firms. When the I is equal to 1 to N, you should always remember N, N indicates the number of firms in the domestic economy. This N number of firms. That we denote by sum. We are summing up all the firms. Therefore, I is equal to summation 1 to N CM. Therefore, C minus CM will give us part of the final expenditure on the domestic firm that is given by this one. I is equal to N CM. And that whatever the expenditure on domestic firms is nothing but some say some total of final consumption expenditure received by all the firms in the economy. Therefore, the ex out of this expenditure, some total of final consumption expenditures, I told you, our the CI, here the CI, consumption expenditure of the firm I, by all the firms. How many other firms? I, I, I want to N. Therefore, some total of final consumption expenditures received by all the firms in the economy. Therefore, the expenditure for other sectors, for the expenditure for of the for total expenditure capital C minus CM will give us the expenditures on the domestic firm. The expenditures on the domestic firm is nothing but they receive as, this is received by, some total of expenditures received by all the firms in the economy. I told you one person expenditure is another person income. Here, C minus CM is part of, I have explained this one, and I investment, we are I investment component, the total aggregate final investment, value of aggregate final investment expenditure is denoted by capital I, capital I. Capital I can be two portion, one is the expenditure in the domestic firm plus expenditure on the capital goods imported from the other countries, IM. Therefore, IM is expenditure spent on foreign investment goods. Therefore, I minus IM will, will give us what you, what you will give? The total aggregate final expenditure minus expenditure, investment expenditure on imported goods will give us the expenditure incurred in the domestic firms. Expenditure incurred in the domestic firms. Therefore, on domestic items. Therefore, part, particular, sorry, I minus M, IM will give us part of the aggregate final expenditure that is capital I, that is minus IM is spent on domestic firms. Therefore, this II of summation of I to N will give us some total of final expenditures received by all the firms in the economy. Therefore, that expenditure is nothing but is income for the, for the firms in the economy. That is denoted by I minus IM. The next one, G, this is again government. Out of the total government expenditure, final aggregate expenditure, part of the expenditure is spent on imported goods by the government and other part of the expenditure of this G is spent on domestic firms. Whatever government spent on domestic firms is nothing but for that domestic firm is a revenue. The expenditure by the government on domestic firm is equal to the revenue earned by the domestic firms that you have to understand. Therefore, capital G is what? Aggregate expenditure of the government. That is the, this capital G. The next one, capital GM is what? The part of G spent by the government on imported goods, on imports. Therefore, if you take this, this side, what will happen? What, what equation will come? G minus GM. That means total government expenditure. If you uh, deduct the uh, government expenditure on imports, it will give you the portion of the expenditure of the government spent on domestic firms. This. Therefore, this is the expenditure made by the government on domestic firms. 
that is what nothing but the expenditure received by the domestic pump from the government i hope you understood and g minus gm you can say part of the government expenditure spent on domestic firms expenditure that is spent on domestic firms by the government if the total government expenditure deduct gm that means you take this one this side that will come g minus gm then this will remain therefore g minus gm you know you, you have to very much clearly understand g minus gm is equal to summation of our economy have n number of firms our economy have n number of firms therefore total firms you have to write 1 to n then when we mention i is equal to 1 to n you should remember this is indicates the domestic economy because we assumed domestic economy have n number of firms when we write this one you should immediately write this is the expenditure on domestic firms expenditure it's because of government expenditure therefore i here you why you be mention gi i may take one or two second firm third firm up to n firm up to n firm therefore we write i this i may vary one to n one to n i hope you understood therefore this is the g minus gm will give us the government expenditures on all the domestic firms we have studied only one firm mean firm i mean we will write only gi if we are concerning all the firm in the economy that is n firm then we will write summing up all the firms mean you have to sum up that is summation side up to n firm that means i will take the value 1 to 1 to n firm you are adding up 1 to n firm you are adding up to take this value summation value therefore the government expenditure on domestic firms is given by what this this one i n uh, summation of n i will explain it again therefore g minus gm you have taken gm this side will give us summation of i is equal to 1 n gi this is nothing but the part of the government total expenditure spent on domestic firms therefore whatever the expenditure is spent on domestic firms received by the domestic firms it is received as income that is what we are writing here the same formula that is summation of i is equal i is equal to 1 to n gi is sum total of final government expenditure received you know received by all the firms in the economy it is equal to g minus gi i hope you understood and the next one this we can write all these formulas like this we have already we have already seen this because we can write total consumption expenditure in the economy is import expenditure or consumption expenditure on imports plus consumption expenditure on all the firms that is denoted by like this i is equal to also you can write you can write i is equal to what all the income final total aggregate investment expenditure aggregate investment expenditure nothing but two parts on domestic firms expenditure on domestic firms domestic firms and this one is imports therefore these two will combine you will get i is equal to expenditure investment expenditure investment expenditure on domestic firms and investment expenditure i am on imports therefore you can write this formula and the g the total government expenditure you can write total government expenditure this is on domestic firm this is on imports again like that therefore the revenue earned by all the firms is how much r i 1 to n how much revenue the total expenditures of all these sectors will give you the total revenue because total expenditure by the consumption section investment government will give you the total revenue reviewed by received by all the firms therefore how do you write total revenue received by all the firms in our firms n firms is equal to 
I to N all the firms. This is consumption expenditure and on the, all the firms and investment expenditure on all the firms by the investors, private firms and in the government expenditure on all the firms and foreign sector expenditure on all the firms. I to 1 to N will give you the total revenue because consum consumers, household, private firms, government and foreign sector, they have spent this much on all the firms. Therefore, all the expenditure you add, that is the revenue for the economy, which is consisting of I number of firms N. Therefore, summation of I is equal to 1. And revenue received is equal to expenditure of all the sectors. Revenue received by all the firms in domestic firms is equal to expenditure of all the sectors, household, private firms, government and foreign sector. I hope you understood. Therefore, and, the, and we, can, we know this, from this we can derive, we can derive, you know, C minus Cm is nothing but, you know, take this Cm this side, then what will remain? This only will remain. What will remain? Summation of I is equal to 1 to N Ci. Therefore, in place of this one, that is this one, Ci, what we can write? C minus Cm. That's what we have substituted. We have substituted the summation of I N Ci by C minus Cm. Like that we can substitute I minus I M is nothing but you take this side, this I M, then will remain is what? Summation of I is equal to 1 to N I I. Therefore, instead of I, summation of N I I I, what you can write? I minus I M. That's what we have written here. And the same way, take G M this side. Therefore, G minus G M will give you summation of I 1 to N G I. Therefore, for that summation of I 1 to N, what you will do? You will, you will write you will write instead of that G minus GM because this will come this side, this will remain in that place you can replace this one by this one, G minus GM and the X side just like that only you write like that because for that we don't have any form of equation like that which is like an expenditure of the foreigners X side on all the firms therefore I to N network therefore we have, I hope you understood everything and again the same equation I have brought it here. The up to here we have seen. And then therefore what you do? Now you take the big, all the aggregate expenditures. What is that? Aggregate consumption expenditure C. Aggregate investment expenditure I. Aggregate government expenditure total final G. And take this plus this also. Aggregate expenditure of the private sector. Therefore C plus I plus G plus summation of I to N XI. Now, what is remaining? This is remaining. What is remaining? This is remaining. Cm, Im, Gm is remaining. Therefore, put the minus here, minus, and take minus Cm. This is again minus Gm. Therefore, you put plus. Therefore, minus plus will become minus Gm, Gm and minus Im because this is minus. Therefore, you within the bracket, you put plus. Plus Im. And minus Cm again within the bracket you put plus Gm. When you multiply, what will happen? Minus Cm minus into plus minus Im minus into plus minus Gm. And therefore we have what we are going to do now. C plus I plus G summation of Xi we are going to mention as X. And all this together we are going to denote by M. We have M mean total import expenditure. Total import expenditure by consumers and for the investment and the, by the government, private firms and also by the government. Therefore, total investment expenditure, that is X minus N. This is the final equation of formula for the expenditure method we are going to derive. Therefore, how did you derive this one? This is the, our GDP by expenditure method formula. GDP by expenditure method formula. Understood? I hope you understood. How did you derive? You take C, I, G as it is and this also as it is. And then you put a bracket and take separately 
separately cm im gm then just rearrange the equation that's all you are rearranging the equation cm minus cm and uh, minus into minus im you put plus because when you open the bracket it will become again minus im this minus cm therefore put gm within the bracket therefore you grouped this cm im gm one side you grouped it therefore this bracket section we are going to write all this m consumption import expenditure investment goods imported government goods imported consumption goods imported all imported expenditure we are going to denote by capital m therefore and also the summation of all the firms in the uh, export expenditure we are going to denote by x therefore this all these three are already existing and instead of this and this we are writing x for import export expenditure and for import expenditure in. therefore our equation will be this this is you know what is this this is denotes aggregate expenditure by all the foreign countries on all the firms in the economy that is summation of xi that is foreign countries on the export and cm im gm is the aggregate imports expenditure incurred by the economy i hope you understood now and cross domestic product what is cross domestic product now we will say all the four sectors expenditure is received by entire firms in the economy as an income therefore gdp is sum total we have summed up no summation here are how many firms i is equal to 1 to n number of firms that is what we added no ci plus again i to 1 n i i and we have added summation of gi i to 1 all the firms and also summation of i to 1 n xi that's what we got the right our final equation sum total because we are using the summation sign and we are adding i to 1 to n understand therefore sum total you have to understand why we write sum total of all the final expenditures what all consumption investment government x minus n that is called next net, net exports also therefore you have to write received by the firms in the economy that is gdp is nothing but all the expenditures received by our firms in the economy i number of firms is i to 1 to n it is equal to all the aggregate final expenditure for all the four sectors household firms government foreign sector therefore this is the equation therefore gdp is equal to the income received by all the firms where that income come from it come from the expenditures by all the four sectors therefore as i have mentioned already the one man's expenditure is another man's income therefore here all these foreign sectors expenditures that is consumption expenditure investment expenditure government expenditure all the final aggregate and we have to mention that without fail final aggregate expenditure of consumption expenditure final aggregate investment expenditure that term is very important final aggregate we are aggregating all the firms all the expenditures going to count man and x minus m is nothing but is received by all the all the firms in the economy as a review revenue those sectors expenditure is come as a revenue of all the firms existing our economy what is the our economy it consists of n firms n firms that's what we are writing summation of our i the variable number of firms may vary between i to i may between 1 to n therefore n r b revenue earned by all the firms is equal to expenditures of all the sectors therefore i hope you understood that the only thing is here the concept one side is spending other side is receiving therefore one side spending side will be called expenditure receiving side will be called revenue and then the above equation express gdp according to the expenditure method we are writing now we are studying expenditure method therefore we have to calculate all the expenditures together to make a revenue or income income is nothing but income this is the income income is expressed in terms of gdp therefore gdp therefore the formula for expenditure method is this is that is one you have to remember capital c plus i g x minus m this is the derivative we derived this equation how to derive this equation you should know because this is a long answer questions 6 marks for the board exam 
you have to be very clear. I have very clearly explained every concept. You have to go through very clearly. GDP, this is the formula we derived. GDP is equal to C minus N. And GDP stand for, stands for gross product, gross domestic product. You have to mention that it is in a particular year, but in a certain form I, I have given here. C, capital C stands for aggregate final. That is very important. Aggregate final consumption expenditure. C stands for consumption expenditure of the entire economy. That is what capital C. And I stands for aggregate final. I for investment expenditure of the entire economy. Capital I. Not firm I or nothing. And then G stands for aggregate final government expenditure of the NT economy, government, this is government, NT economy. X minus M, difference between exports and imports. The X1, the exports, M1, the imports. I have X, X sorry, X is, X is exports, M is imports. Therefore, difference between X minus M will give you net exports. We always say, some books, they will say net exports. Instead of X minus M, they will say net exports. Or so, otherwise we can say difference between exports minus exports X imports M. And this is the question this is always being asked in the board exam. Briefly explain the expenditure method of measuring GDP. Six marks, 20 sentences. Please go through this video and explain. It is, the answer is already explained in this video. And thank you. Sairam Rivali. Thank you.